This is CES M M A. All right, Chris McNally in the black and white trunks, Loizo in the black and red. Big step up in competition for Chris McNally in this fight. Let's see what he's made of against Dave the Crow, a UFC veteran of several fights, of course, fighting Rich Franklin for the middleweight title in 2006. Here we go, round number one. You see feints right away from David, and it looks like McNally's just kind of standing still. A little bit of a feeling out process, and certainly McNally wants to see what he's up against. There we go. Now McNally, I guess maybe that was just a player in his pot to see, see what was going on, but nice little left hook by Loazzo. Nice knee on the uh, the exchange there. Nice knee in the clinch by McNally. This is the first fight in quite some time for Loizo. A knee injury kept him out of the cage for more than a year. So we'll see if he maybe tries to shake off some of the rust early before he really goes in on McNally. He went back to the UFC for a, a brief period, and then he hurt that knee, and that's what kept him on the sidelines for so long. And it looks like McNally's looking to try to drop in a, a guillotine. I think Loizo's identifying that and stop and, and defending it pretty well. And like any fighter who's been to the UFC before and has tasted success, or as he's been to that big stage, he certainly wants to get back. Knows time is working against him, but he says he plans on fighting for another six years with the way he keeps himself in shape and the way he lives his life, and it's certainly possible. I won't argue with him. I was 44. <laughs> <laughs> Three and a half to go in round number one. Still looking. It looks like McNally's still more controlling the head than actually trying to apply a a guillotine, but he's working it, and Loazzo's got his hands, you can see where Loazzo has his hands on his knees, and he's pushing them off, that's to protect the knees. He's just using the weight now, McNally's using that weight, trying to trying to pull down Dave Loazzo. Dave's been here before. Now trying to take his back. Uh, he has his back very well, and he's gonna start a little ground and pound. There comes some short left hands, Dave, dropping the fist on the other side of the head. Absolutely, it's a reverse hammer fist. You wanna see, Dave's gonna put two hands on one, defend the choke. Immediately he had, McNally's doing very well with, with hooks in, trying to defend the back, and Loazzo making the turn around. Nice job and he by does Loazzo. reverse him very, very well. Now for a second, I thought McNally might have had a chance, but he never really was able to get that choke, and Loazzo defending it perfectly from the start. Some guys go hooks first, then the choke. I don't believe, I, I like to go choke first, you know, and then try to get the hooks in, but, you know, six and one, half dozen the other, it depends on, you need them both to finish most of the time. McNally trying to pin, uh, rather, Loizel nice trying to pin those shoulders down. Loizel. I think that might have busted him open. That opened him up. Yeah, it opened him up pretty bad. Hard. That was a nasty elbow. McNally bleeding profusely onto the canvas. That might just end this fight. Is it smack dab in the middle of his forehead as well? It definitely is. A vicious, vicious right elbow by Loizel. Well, Scott, as we saw, he pinned both shoulders back, had him wide open and delivered. And that busted McNally open pretty quickly. Ringside physician taking a look. This may not last much longer. He's going to take a look underneath right now and, and see what it looks like. That's, That's it. it. They're waving it off. A victory for Dave the Crow Loizo in his Providence, Rhode Island debut, approving a 21 and 10. A nasty cut, right smack dab in the middle Cannot of the forehead. Cannot wait to see that on, on replay. And I'm sure Joe Lozon's going to talk to him about it. But I'd love to see that elbow. He was very. He had good position in, in, in the guard, and he started to posture, and he was nice and smooth about it. Very calm, cool, and collected, and then dropped a vicious right elbow. Just the perfect strike by Dave Loizo at the perfect time, and it bust open Chris McNally pretty bad. It's a tough finish for McNally. He came in Absolutely. here, looked pretty good early on. He was doing a nice job. He got him on the ground, he got him on the canvas. He was very competitive up until that point. But you saw where the veteran experience takes over for Loizo, never panicking at any point. Absolutely. Now going over to console McNally, a tough break for him as he comes in all the way from Charleston, South Carolina. It's also the veteran is the person who has incredible accuracy with his strikes. He's not flailing anymore. You know, it's, it's, it's quite a big deal. The, <laughs> having the experience makes a big difference. All right, let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, your official time, two minutes, 30 seconds of the first round. Based upon the advice of the ringside physician, Kevin McDonald stops the boat. Your winner by TKO, David the Crow Loiso. I think we'll have Joe. What's up, David? Congratulations on a big win. What's up, man? <laughs> 
I've been a big fan for a long time, the way you throw those elbows from the guard. And, uh, you know, is that something you work on a lot? Or is it, was that a game plan usually when you end up on top? For personal reasons, I stopped throwing elbows for years. But the people asked for the elbows, so I brought the people's elbows back. All kinds of pro wrestling stuff going on tonight. Uh, you know, great fight, great win. Uh, anyone you want to thank? Um, I want to thank all my sponsors, all my friends, everybody uh, uh, back in Montreal that helped me out. Uh, Tri-Star Jim Faraz Zahabi, Mark Colangelo from uh, Gracie Baja, Montreal. I got Rick Hahn right here that came down with me. So, uh, Jonathan Chamber got me in such a good shape. Jonathan Chamber, I love you, man. Uh, there's so many people. I don't want to forget anyone, but everybody. Howard Grant, my boxing coach, Montreal Wrestling Club. I have so many people that have my back. Everybody on Twitter, I saw all these messages. Thank you guys so much. It's hard for me to, 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 to make it out here, you know? Uh, I battle anxiety a lot, but you know, I fought through it, you know? Great fight, you know, and congratulations. Thank you. Well, Dave Loizo, a true professional, a big friend of Dave Bautista, and with a wrestling reference, the people's elbow, channeling his inner Dwayne Johnson there. And of course, you saw the great finish against Chris McNally, a tough break for McNally, but it goes down as a victory for the Crow. Now, ladies He's and now gentlemen, 21 and 10.